everyone welcome to the channel in this video we are going to learn about the full subtractors and i have already discussed about the half subtractor if you have not watched the video please watch the video i will put the link in the description box okay the full subtractor performs the subtraction between the three bits three single bits like uh, it will find the differences between x minus y minus z and it will give the differences so the block diagram for full subtractor is this it consists of the single square box fs stand for the full subtractor x y z are the three single bits number and this is also considered as the b in b in is the borrow in we will see later and d is the differences b out is the borrow out now we will see the truth table of the full subtractor so for the uh, full subtractor we have three single bits number means 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 combination will be here so 8 combination we will write 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 again 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1, 0, 1. this will be the combination eight number of combinations now we will find the differences and fulfill this table okay first zero minus zero minus zero zero no borrow zero minus zero is zero zero minus one what we have to do here zero minus one means here we have to take one borrow so one is the differences one and the borrow is one okay now this zero minus one zero minus one we have this one minus zero minus zero what one here will one okay zero minus one minus one and this one will be the borrow one so here will be one and one now this combination 0 minus 1 same 0 minus 1 1 will be the output and 1 will be the borrow 0 minus 1 minus 1 okay now what i have to do is minus 1 here 1 minus 1 will be 0 so 0 and here 1 borrow 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 again 1 so 1 no borrow 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 1 zero zero no borrow i hope this is the simple one now what do we have to do one minus one is zero zero minus zero is zero no borrow correct now one minus one is zero and zero minus one again we have the zero minus one means one is the differences and one is the borrow hope the truth table is clear now we have to find the boolean expression for the d differences and b out using this truth table so for that we have to make the k map okay let's proceed okay for d here will be the eight block because eight input so eight block k map will be there okay x and y z 0 0 0 1 if you know the k map it's very good if you don't know don't worry you will learn it here and 1 0 0 and 1 okay this is the basic of the k map for the 8 block k map now what we have to do is for the d we will check the 1 Four number of ones and their places of ones for this one what is the value of x zero okay for this one the value of x is zero so we will consider this zero and value of y and z is zero one so zero one is y and this now consider this one for this one the value of x is again zero then means this row and the value of yz is one zero 
okay come to one zero we have to we will put one now for this one value of x is one so we will choose this row value of y z is zero zero okay now for this one and this one so we have to make the combination of the one address and one pair up so here is no pair up so we have to take the individual ones okay now for this one what we will find the expression for the difference expression is x bar and y bar and z y bar and z okay plus for this one again x bar and y z bar plus for this one we have x and 0 0 means y bar z bar y bar z bar plus for this one x is 1 x and y z both are 1 y and z y z so this is the expression for the differences okay now we will find the uh, expression of the borrow out similarly okay similarly we will make the box for the borrow out now we will check the number of ones in the borrows so one two three four again we have the four number of one here okay like we have done a for the d that is the differences so we have to make this k map uh, for the borrow out also so let's consider the first one for this one okay we will consider the value of x is zero and the value of y z is zero one okay so here we will put zero and y z is zero one here we will put one okay similarly we will check the another y the value of b out is here it is one and x is zero and y z is one zero one zero so zero one zero here we will put zero one zero as one similarly for the other two one what we have to do these two value will be uh, will come for the other two one of the borrow out now we have to make the pair of ones so first we can make this pair this one and this one let's go for the first pair this group okay we will calculate the value of b out what we will uh, common in this both the one is x bar so x bar is the common part and from here we have y y okay now plus text the another one let's consider this one what is common in this y z plus the third one this third one what is common x bar and is there anything common z okay so now we get our expression the boolean expression for the differences d and the borrow out b out hope it is clear till now now we will make the circuit diagram using this two boolean expression okay first for the d that is the differences what we have is x y z okay we have to complement it x bar here we will get x bar here we will get y bar and z we have to perform and between all these three here we get first term x bar y bar and z okay now similarly for the other term what we have x bar means this one x bar y and z bar means z bar we'll put this will be the second term 
that is the x bar y z bar okay now what is the third term x so here we have x okay y bar so here we will put y bar y bar and z bar so this one is the z bar here we can see this is the z not z bar so here and get we got the third term x y bar z bar okay for the fourth term is what simple fourth term is we have x y z so x y and z x again we can consider it as x x y z x y and z now there is the or operation between all these so we have to perform or operation between all these and here we will get the d as the differences okay now similarly for the borrow out what we have to do is and we have to make these three expressions now what we will do x bar let's consider x bar and y first term y z and we will have to consider y and z y z and x bar z now we have to or all these or to get the borrow so this is the borrow and this is the differences so these two i have shown you the different part or different different part this one is the borrow part and the other part is the differences part okay if the video was helpful to you please share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching